When she was growing up, her parents wanted her to be a nun, but she had a different idea. For me, I saw myself like I wanted to be to do something which was unique, to see how I can shine out, not doing the same similar thing and calling every day. Everyone wants to be an artist, everyone wants to be a soccer player, everyone wants to do that. So I looked around the country and I was like, which other unique thing that has a person hasn't yet done in Uganda that has made her shine out as alone or as an individual? Miss Patricia Pallot tried other sports including soccer, cycling, taekwondo, netball and boxing but finally settled for kickboxing. In 2011, Patricia Pallot participated in her first semi-professional game against one established Grace Masendi. She was excited by the support she received from the crowd despite the loss. I did my best but I was not so, in, so yet much in, um, good in kicks so I was too much of punching than kicking so whereby my opponent took the points and uh, I lost the game that day. But however, did that, did, that did not back me up by saying I should sit down on myself and say everything is, has ended. Actually, it was like a wake-up call for me to say, you have tried it, you have seen how the crowd loves it. Since then, Patricia Pallot has gone on to fight and win 16 professional fights, among them six knockouts. She says there is not enough sponsorship of the sport, either from the public or private. But what's challenging is that most women kickboxers are not appreciated. But she says you have to sacrifice for the sport that you truly love. Uh, at times even people doubt your agenda. At times people under look at you. At times people say she's putting herself there because she's looking for market from this other top guy. They tend to take us uh, as mistresses other than saying that she is doing this because she loves it. So we are not trusted in whatever we are doing. And this is the biggest challenge which is affecting us here in Uganda and actually international as a globe. Mr. Ivani Losman, the president of World Kickboxing Federation Professional Division, says that he has been amazed at the talent he has seen in Patricia Pallot. It is sure that he is a real talent, not just in Uganda, in, in Africa, and I can say all over the world. So she, she is the, I see one of the best lady around the world, but she only who have uh, eight title belt holding, holder, so he's holder eight professional title belt. And is uh, no one have it in Africa, and I can bet that no one have it in the world in WKF that eight professional belt have somebody can hold him. So she, she loved the child, she loved the family, Loved everybody. She put 23-year-old Ashley a badminton player says she and other young women in Uganda are well inspired by Akaroti's kickboxing expert. Kickboxing is a hard game. It's a difficult game. Not even difficult, but it's, it's, it requires energy. Being a strong lady and you're doing kickboxing, to me it's too special. And seeing her play big kickboxing, winning medals, winning international, national, continentals. It's a good thing. And Patricia Brod says she doesn't regret having joined the sport. Uh, my greatest uh, achievement is believing in myself and trusting that whatever I'm going to do, I'm not doing it by myself, that God is behind it. And I'm trying all the best. I'm trying my best to, to tell myself that, you know what, without God, you cannot achieve anything. Uh, besides trusting in God, because you cannot always pray there and just sit back there, I have to do my training, uh, I mean, like following up my trainings, uh, following up my diet, you know, ch doing checkups with the doctors where necessary if I'm sick to have a proper medical, medical attention. And also engage myself in common society activities mm, that can help me look beyond that after the sport, what else I can do. So these are the greatest achievements that I think I can, I can say besides just the belts. <laughs> like any other woman, Patricia Pallot hopes she will eventually get a Prince Charming, come along and get married. But more importantly, she says she hopes that a coaching career can bring other young women in the sport.